All right, quickly before the video starts, if you guys are new to the channel and you want to drop a sub, it is 100% free for you guys to do. We're grinding super hard to 50k, so it would mean a lot if you guys did drop a sub. I'm also going to be dropping a free edit pack a couple days after the video goes live on my Twitter, so make sure to head on over there in the description or the pinned comment. I'll have the link down there. But with all that being said, I'm going to quickly show you guys what you're going to be learning in this video. Alright guys, so now that you've seen what you're actually going to be learning in this video, I just wanted to quickly highlight what specifically I'm going to be showing. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the general subject of velocity. If you guys don't know, velocity is the general time remapping of your clips in a Fortnite highlights video. It can be used to improve the general feel of the montage, give you kind of a nice little effect as a build up to your clip. But pretty much it's just used to improve the overall effect that it has on the viewer that's watching your actual montage. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to do a beginner's velocity, how to do an advanced velocity, and I'm also going to be covering a reverse velocity transition which i've seen a lot of people do i've seen a lot of editors use it in their montages i've had a lot of people ask me on how you actually do it i figured out how to do it recently so i'm going to be sharing that with you guys but like i said like comment subscribe download davinci resolve in the description which is going to be the software we're using for this video and i'll see you guys on my pc all right guys so the first thing you want to do is just make sure you're in a brand new davinci resolve project so i'm just in this one right here and the first thing you want to do is just initialize your settings. So to do that, go to the file on the top left, go to project settings, just change your frame rate to 60. You can change your resolution to whatever you want. You can make 25, 60 by 1440 if you'd like, but I just have it at 1920 by 1080 because that's what I do for my tutorials. And also what you want to do is just make sure you have like three clips. So just drag that into the media pool. Also, you can drag in a song. So once you just have your song, just drag that in. If you guys don't know how to download a song. I'll link a video in the description that I previously uploaded on how to actually download a song. It'll have a timestamp. You can skip to that. But the first thing you want to do is just drag in your song into your timeline and pretty much guys since i'm actually going to be showing you how to do three different types of velocity we're only going to need three different beats in the song so i'm just going to size down the intro just like this and what we're going to do is we're going to mark out our beats so we're going to find our first beat right here press m on our keyboard to add our marker and then we're just going to cut off the excess that we're not going to be using just on this side all right guys so the first velocity i'm going to be showing you guys is just a basic velocity using retime controls to preview your clip before you actually drag it into the thing you just double click on it right here and then you can find the point that you want it to start press this arrow button right here and then you can come a bit after the clip press this other arrow thing to end it here and then you're going to want to find where you get the kill so just right here and then i'm just going to drag that over top and this is just going to be lined up perfectly so we already have it synced and don't get confused i just added this red marker because that's where i wanted the clip to actually end so that's why i added it there but once we actually have it synced using the actual preview menu up here we're going to add the actual velocity so to do that we're just going to right click on the clip we're going to unlink the clip because we don't want to have the audio messed up by our slow-mo we're going to right click on the video go to read time controls right here and you should see a menu right here that says speed change what we're going to want to do is just make sure we're on the marker on our kill press this black triangle press add speed point what that'll do is it'll add a second section that we can manually change the speed of so for example if we wanted to change it to 50 percent and have it like a slow-mo after the kill that's what we could do easily just a nice little slow-mo after the kill but if you want to get a bit more advanced i'm going to be showing you how to do a slow-mo before the kill and after the kill so to do this we're gonna go to right after he edits this ramp we can see that there's a bit of debris here the ramp isn't fully edited we're gonna want to find the first frame where it's a just a crystal clear edit and we're gonna add a speed point on this next we're gonna come right in between these two speed points that we've already added and add a third speed point from there we're gonna change this first portion right here to 50 percent this next one to 200 percent so it goes a hundred percent 50%, 200%, 50. And we can see that it's not synced because we haven't done the syncing yet. So we're just going to drag this portion over here. So the second line, the 50% lines up with the actual kill. And we're just going to overlap it a tiny, tiny bit. We can see it does a nice little velocity, slow-mo, accelerate, and then a nice little 50% after the kill. If you guys do want to get a bit more advanced, you can right click on it and go into your retime curve, get rid of the retime frame and go into your retime speed. And right here, you can see the keyframes that you actually added. So if we want to smooth out these and make it a smoother, we can just click on the speed point, press this easy ease button, ease the curve just like this. And if you guys don't know, the smoother the curve is, the more progressive the acceleration goes. If we have a straight up one, it'll go directly from 100% to 50%. Whereas if we actually were to smoothen this out, it would go almost from like a 100%. This would be about 75%. This would be almost like a 60%. And that would be 50% right there. So what we can do is we could also add a second point up here. And we can ease this one off right here. 
and ease this one off right here but now what i'm going to show you how to do with the next clip is how to actually add advanced velocity directly inside of the retime curve so same exact process we're just going to find a second clip we're going to cut it down just like this we're going to start it right here and right about here we're going to add a marker and then we're just going to drag it in line it up with our marker but once we've actually done that just right click on it press unlink and once we've actually done that just right click on the video go to retime curve bring this drop down menu go to retime speed and we can see it's just a flat line because it is 100 speed what we're going to do is we're going to add a point on the kill by pressing this little keyframe button right here manually we're going to go seven frames back using our keyboard we're going to add a keyframe there and what we're going to do with this portion right here we can see that we can manually adjust these sections right here we're going to drag this up so it goes up to 300 percent we're going to go one, two, three frames to the right, add another keyframe, drag this small portion right up here that'll go almost disappear into the this part right here up to 150%. And then this last part after the kill, we'll, we'll drag it down to about 60%. And once we've done that, just click on this, ease this part out right here click on this ease this part and then we're going to put our playback head on the actual marker and we're going to line up the velocity so it goes like this and then ends right on our marker and then we're just going to size it down on either side to fit the actual audio of the clip and what it should look like from there is actually just something like this and like you guys can see it's super nice it doesn't have a slow-mo before the kill it's just an acceleration into the actual post kill slow-mo but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can actually do the reverse transition velocity effect so to do this pretty much the first thing we're going to want to do just like any other velocity thing we're just going to have it so we have the actual clip we're going to sync it up add our velocity to this clip just by going like this we're going to line it up with the marker just right here all right guys so i added the initial velocity that i showed you the first velocity i showed you in this video to this clip all right guys so to do the actual reverse velocity what we're going to want to do is we're going to go about 15 frames back from the middle point so we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five cut it go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five just like this we're going to cut it right here and then from there what you're going to want to do is delete this second portion right here completely you're going to copy this first portion and you're going to paste it right here so you can see that it goes it does the exact duplication of the exact thing. We're going to compound clip it by right clicking on it. Go to compound clip and then we're going to right click on it. Go to change clip speed. We're going to make this one negative 100. So it should just look something like this. And then what we're going to do with the second clip is we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're going to cut it. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cut it we're going to delete the first portion paste in this part right here we're going to compound this part right click on it go to change clip speed negative 100. And it should just look something like that super clean if you do end up incorporating this in your montage it'll look a lot cleaner trust me it's a super cool effect basic but it is super cool what you can also do you can just add a little transition between the two like a zoom out effect or something along the lines of that and it will improve the quality of the transition even more but from there all you got to do is add some effects i've covered that in all my other videos if you want to check that out i'll have that linked in the description and like i said guys i am going to be dropping a free edit pack for you guys to use on davinci resolve it'll have some of my best effect presets my best text presets transitions all that stuff if you want to pick that up head on over to my twitter link in description or pins comment but if you guys did enjoy this make sure to like comment subscribe if you found this helpful i'm also going to be posting one minute tutorials on my alt account so make sure to check that out i'll have that linked in the description as well but i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys later peace out